The Nile River is a lifeline for millions, flowing over 6,600 kilometers, making it the longest river in the world. For Egypt, an arid nation, the Nile is almost the sole water source crucial for agriculture, industry, and domestic use. Sudan's agricultural sector heavily relies on the Nile's waters. Ethiopia, the source of the Blue Nile, seeks to harness the river's potential for hydropower and irrigation. The Blue Nile contributes the majority of the Nile's water flow, especially during the rainy season. The Nile's significance to these countries is immense, shaping their economies and cultures. The river's role in sustaining civilizations for millennia cannot be overstated. The Aswan High Dam, completed in 1970, tamed the Nile's floods, providing Egypt with control over its water resources. The dam's reservoir, Lake Nasser, stores billions of cubic meters of water, ensuring a steady supply for irrigation even during droughts. Its hydroelectric power plant generates significant electricity, powering homes and industries. However, the creation of Lake Nasser submerged ancient Nubian villages and archaeological sites, displacing thousands. The dam's impact on the Nile's ecosystem, particularly the reduction of nutrient-rich silt, sparked concerns. Despite these challenges, the Aswan High Dam remains a symbol of Egypt's ambition and determination to secure its water future. It marked a turning point in Egypt's relationship with the Nile, giving it unprecedented control over the river's flow. Ethiopia's Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, near the Sudan border, is set to be Africa's largest hydroelectric dam. The GERDI represents Ethiopia's aspirations for economic development and energy independence. The dam's hydroelectric power plant is expected to generate thousands of megawatts of electricity, boosting Ethiopia's energy grid. However, Egypt fears the filling of the GERD's reservoir could reduce the Nile's flow, impacting its water security. The dam's operation, especially during droughts, has become a point of contention between Ethiopia and Egypt. The GERD's construction has raised hopes and apprehensions in the Nile Basin. The, the Nile River, once a symbol of unity, has become a source of tension. Large-scale dams like the GERD have exacerbated concerns over water security, particularly in Egypt. Egypt views any reduction in the Nile's flow as a threat to its existence, heavily relying on the river for its water needs. Ethiopia argues the GERD is essential for its development and will not harm downstream countries, emphasizing the dam's potential regional benefits. Sudan, caught between Egypt's concerns and Ethiopia's ambitions, advocates for a cooperative approach to managing the Nile's waters. The delicate balance maintained for centuries through cooperation is under threat. Diplomatic efforts have been initiated to find a mutually beneficial solution to the Nile tensions. Negotiations under the African Union aim to foster dialogue among Nile Basin countries. Differing priorities, Egypt's water security, Ethiopia's development and Sudan's balance complicate reaching a consensus. Historical grievances and mistrust further complicate negotiations with colonial era treaties favoring Egypt lingering in mines. International actors like the US and EU have mediated adding pressure and new dynamics to the negotiations. The path to a lasting agreement remains fraught with challenges. The future of the Nile River depends on the ability of Nile Basin countries to work together. Cooperation is essential for the survival and prosperity of the entire region. Joint initiatives in water management, infrastructure development and environmental conservation can create a win-win situation. Sharing knowledge, technology and resources can lead to sustainable solutions benefiting everyone. The international community must support these efforts, providing technical assistance, facilitating dialogue and offering financial support. The Nile River has the power to unite rather than divide, transcending borders and connecting millions. The time for cooperation is now.